friend of mine contacted me the other day and asked if I had an example of a view template. View template is a special design element that allows you to customize how a domino generated view is displayed over the web. While I didn't have any lying around, I did walk them through the process of creating a very simplified version of one and took about a minute. Thought this would be a great topic for a quick tutorial video. So I started up Jing, came in, went into notes, and I started a simple little application that I called View Template Example. Just opening that up, as you can see, it's very simple. Uh, three documents. I'll open this up in the design. You see here a very simplified form containing four fields, a very simplified view containing four columns. I'll preview that over the web so you can see here's the standard domino generated view with the domino pagers and such. We want to spruce this up so the first thing we're going to do is create a copy of uh, the documents view. I'll go and add that. Now I'll modify the original documents view hiding it from the web. I'll go back into the copy that we just created and I'll make some changes here. First thing I'll do is I'll delete all these columns as we're not going to need them. Developing over the web, um, I tend to only use one column for my views. Helps speed up the view index and the rendering of it as well as keeping things simple. Um, I'm actually going to cheat here and for the contents of the column I've already written some markup so I'm going to go and paste that in here and all that is is a markup table row uh, table columns class that's going to match the view template I'll say OK here I'll save that now I'm going to go back in and you know while I'm in here let me call this HTML documents the last thing I need to do with this view is tell it to hide from the notes client we don't want a conflict so I'll go in here say hide this from the notes client now if I view this over the web and go back in and say documents you'll see that this is I ah, forgot to turn on the treat contents as HTML very very important and I did that as an example so you would know what to look for as well so if it renders like this you've missed something I'll go in and you can actually see that this markup renders as simple markup we want to do something with it though it's pretty blah so we'll go into the forms and we'll create a brand new form called dollar dollar view template default now you can call this dollar dollar view template for documents if you want it for specific you can also multi alias and create a dollar dollar view template for uh, documents for pages for so on and so forth and create a default dollar dollar view template um, might get you into or get you out of some security problems if someone just hits the basic now I've gone in here and I've set up a new form in Aptana a new HTML file just to grab some simple markup I'm going to put it in here and name this documents I'm going to go in here and I've also cheated and written written a uh, simple table based layout the functional field is dollar dollar view body I place that in here uh, I'm going to set this form to treat contents as other text HTML. Save this. And you can see here a very basic rendering. I'm going to kick it up with some style, throw it right into the header. Save that out click here and refresh and you can see here how a very simple view a very simple view template default was able to take a very blah domino generated view add some function in there play around with the markup and it's pretty uh, pretty simple pretty functional and something you can do with your notes applications today this is Chris Tui and check out the show notes if you have any questions comments or want to see something new take care